Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 33 of May and June 2014 of A Level Math, paper 3. Now, with that being said, obviously, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. So here we have question number one. We have to solve the equation. Solving means finding the unknown. Here we have to find the value of x, right? So one by one, what can we do? So first, we can send all the logs to one side. You will have log base of 10, x plus 9, minus log base of 10, x is equal to 2. Now, since these two are the same, we can combine them together. This will be x plus 9. Here we have minus becomes divide is equal to 2. Now, as we have seen before, to find the value inside, send the base over here. You will have x plus 9 over x is equal to 10 power 2, which is 100. Now, we can just cross multiply. Let's see what happens. You will have x plus 9 is equal to the value of 100x. Send this over here, you will have 9 here and 99x. So finally, x will be the value of 9 divided by 99, which is 1 over 11. And this is your answer for question number 1. Now let's move on to question number 2. So here we have to expand this whole thing in ascending powers of x up to x cubed. So first thing first, we have to verify if this is plus 1. So confirm it is plus 1, good to go. This one is negative. So good to go. So we can use our formula for binomial expansion. That will be 1 plus n, which is the power. x, here we have 3x, plus n minus 1. That should become minus 4 over 3 times x squared divided by 2 factorial. Continue n will be this one, minus 1, minus 2. And then that will be x cubed divided by 3 factorial. Again, this thing is just a formula you have to know for the binomial expansion. So for example, you should know, well, if you have 1 plus n, plus x, sorry, power n, this is, has to be plus 1, and this has to be negative or a fraction or both. We can use this expansion as 1 plus nx plus n times n minus 1 x squared by 2 factorial minus 1 minus 2 x cubed by 3 factorial and so on as you can see we're just replacing the values inside this formula to solve this now one by one this will become what cancel cancel you have 1 minus x of course use your cal calculator why not it will be way easier we have minus 1 over 3 times minus 4 over 3 divided by 2 times 9 for this one that should be 2 now for this one, uh, minus 1 over 3 times minus 4 over 3 times minus 7 over 3 times 27 divided by 6. That will be minus 4, 2 third x cubed. Okay, because we know 3 factorial is just 6, right? So that's why I divided by 6. Now simplify, you will have your answer as 1 minus x plus 2x squared. Now 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. That should be minus 14 over 3x cubed. And this is your answer for question number 2. Now let's move on to question number 3. So here we have to show this equation become this one. Again, what do we use? We use a formula for 10, as we should know. For example, we should know 10 of a plus b or a minus b here is equal to what is equal to 10 of a minus 10 of b divided by 1 plus 10 a 10 b so similarly we replace the value of a by x and b by 60. so let's see what happens so you will have 10 of a which is x minus 10 of b divided by the value of 1 plus 10 of a which is x 10 of b, 10 of x, sorry, 10 of x, 10 of b is 1060. So replace and see what happens. Now what is this value? We should know what is 10 of 60 as exact value. It is basically uh, sine of 60 over cos of 60. This is with 3 over 2. This is half, 
cancel cancel half root 3 so 10 of 60 will be root 3 so you eventually will realize well this whole thing becomes um, 10 of x minus root 3 over 1 plus root 3 10 of x now simplify here we have also cot x cot x is plus 1 over 10x now let's rewrite everything down to somewhere with more space let's continue here so right now we have 10 of x minus root 3 over the value of 1 plus root 3 10 of x plus cot is 1 over 10x e is equal to root 3 right so now uh, to simplify this uh, function uh, what can we do is we can uh, try to simplify so what can we do right now so we can multiply everyone for example let's do this let's send this over here you will have what you have root 3 over 1 minus 1 over 10x do you agree now we want to combine them together because the base are different we have 10x as the common base that will become root 3 10x and minus 1 so right now you will have so basically on this side it will be the same thing which is 10x minus this one over 1 plus root 3 10x e is equal to this will be root 3 10x minus 1 over the value of 10x now we can just cross multiply and see what happens this will become 10 square x minus root 3 10 x is equal to here we have what the value of root 3 10 x minus 1 and here it is root 3 10 x plus 1 now as you can see this one is simply the difference of squares so a minus b times a plus b that will be the difference of squares that should be 3 10 square x minus 1 makes sense right according to the formula we know which is a minus b times a plus b that should be a square minus b square now send everything to one side this and over here the 3 minus 2 1 that should be 2 times square x plus root 3 tan x and then minus 1 that should be 0 so this is shown as required for part 1 for 3 marks good to go now for part two, hence, using that information, using this, solve this for the value of x between these two. Now keep, keep in mind, obviously, x is only between 0 and 180, only these two. So only the first and second quadrant, right? So let's solve this equation. So how would you solve this? Obviously, we'll use uh, the, the formula for quadratic equation. That will be 10 of x is equal to minus b which is root 3, plus b squared will be 3, minus uh, 4 times a times b. That will be 11. Divide by 2a, which is 4. Now, for the first value, will be minus root 3, plus root of 11, divided by 4. So, tan of x can be equal to 0 0.396. Now, minus root 3, minus root of 11, divided by 4 or ton of x could be minus 1.262 two possible values for that now for the first one obviously let's look at this one positive value you will have x will be between in the first quadrant and in the third quadrant again there's no need to find this one because we only care about these two so that will be only this one will be your x so x will be simply 10 inverse of the value over here let's see what happens 10 inverse of 0 0.396 that will be we have to use degrees here that will be 21.6 degrees now for this one it is negative ASTC so if 10 is negative it should be here and here but here we don't care because it only has to be the top values now because it is negative we cannot find directly we will use the value of theta which is Again, you can call this theta, beta, up to you, but the idea is it is 180 minus the angle that we need to first find. Theta is simple. It is tan inverse of the positive value of this one. 
tan inverse of 1.262. That will be 51.6 degrees. So therefore, finally, for the value of x, we'll use the quadrant, which is 180, minus 51.6. That will be 128.4 for the angle, so 128.4 for the value of x. So eventually, you will have two possible values of x for this equation. The first one is 21.6 and 128.4 degrees for the two between the value of 0 and 180. That is your question number three. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.